you have to read what the machine tell you. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Keep tickets, keep it going, please. It's a great day out here in Oakland, California. Welcome to RGB 16. Let's go on an adventure. Today, we're going on a bike ride to see the Wind Heart, a sleeping leviathan located in South San Francisco. Right now, we're on a ferry headed for North San Francisco, better known as San Francisco, or Frisco, as the locals call it. South San Francisco and Frisco are, of course, two different cities, but that's not important. What's important is how we'll get there. We're going to start our ride at the ferry building, which puts us out on the Embarcadero. The Embarcadero rides south along the waterfront, ultimately taking us to the 4th and King Caltrain station. And from there, we'll ride off into the mission, grab some food, and start making our way towards South City on a belly full of coffee, carbs, and protein. Hillside Drive will take us off the main drag and through some great mountainside views of the peninsula. And from there, it's all downhill to the Windhart. Eventually, we'll head back to BART and ride a train home.
most of the way there. Just over half, I'd say. Another 10 or so miles to go. This is the county border between San Mateo and San Francisco counties, entering into Daly City. Gateway to the peninsula. Sure. Uh, went up a nice long hill up here in Alamany. And, uh, yeah, once we get up to the top of this hill up here, then we take a left. And it's nice, calm, uh, mostly car free once we get towards it. Uh, ride down towards San South City. So it'll be fun. We'll have some good views up there. And, uh, surprise to you when I get to some other stuff. Here up in Coloma, population 1,678 or so living, several thousand more dead. It's a city that's uh, pretty famous for actually having more dead residents than living. Part of that is uh, when San Francisco was growing back in those days when it used to grow, uh, they uprooted a bunch of cemeteries and moved them down here into Coloma. So they made room for the living which was pretty cool at the time. So there's all this cemetery up here. There's like this other one right behind me here. And then, uh, yeah, it's all this out here. I think that's Mount San Bruno up there, perhaps. But next is we are just going down this road here, which is, you know, full of cars. And uh, we'll, I think it's mostly downhill from here. Maybe there's a dip. Go through downtown South City, and then we'll end up uh, at the wind park. And if we're lucky, we'll see a windfish. Who knows? See you there. South San Francisco. The city is sponsored by Genentech. The sign back there said that, so that's cool. Um, this is kind of the top of the city, I guess. It's the bay out there. Mount San Bruno is right over there. San Francisco is on the other side of that. And then just a bunch of boats, construction going on. None of this is housing, of course. That would be ridiculous. SFO is just like sort of south. You can kind of see like it's maybe a plane up there. It might be too small to see, but a bunch of planes up there. And uh, yeah, the wind harp's just down the hill. We have arrived. We're here at the Wind Harp, which is right behind me. But from here, it's pretty much a lot of San Francisco. SFO is over that way. You can see the airport, airplanes overhead, all that. Uh, yeah, Colmo's way over that way. You can like see the hill up there that we came down. And we like went that way a bit. Yeah, like here's the hill. Came down that way, down. And then back up here.
Visiting the Wind Harp is a bit of a spiritual experience for me. Perched up on this hilltop in a South San Francisco industrial park, this 92 foot tall sculpture is one of the world's largest Aeolian harps. Named for Aeolius, the Greek god of the wind, an Aeolian harp is a passive instrument played by the movement of the wind. The harp was constructed in 1967, where it was first known as the Cabot, Cabot, and Forbes Tower after the real estate development firm who first developed the industrial park surrounding it. CCNF still exists today, though they no longer have as strong as a presence here. In 1996, uh, the harp was acquired by the city of South San Francisco and rededicated the next year, where it adopted its present official name of the Wind Harp. Today, the area is dominated by Genentech, a major bioengineering firm who is one of the first to produce synthetic human insulin. And despite its gargantuan size, very few people know about the Wind Harp, even among longtime residents of the Bay Area. This makes for a really nice, quiet experience when visiting. One of my earliest memories of the Bay Area was biking out here to see the harp, smoking my first legal joint up on the hill, taking in the gorgeous panoramas. It's really difficult to overstate just how cool it is to visit by yourself alone, just you and your thoughts. It's a perfect place to just vibe. But our time here is over, so it's time to go home. So we're gonna go for a ride. We're gonna head back towards San Bruno, try and catch the BART, and uh, head home. After going through South San Francisco and a bit of San Bruno, we made it to BART. According to Ride with GPS, this was an 18 mile bike ride that took about an hour and a half. It only cost me $4.50 for the ferry and another $5 for BART. Try beating that with a car. The Wind Harp is a truly unique work of art here in the Bay Area. You should go visit it if you have the chance, preferably by bike. bike. The views are totally worth it. And if you take Caltrain or BART to the South San Francisco station, you don't even have to climb the 1,000 feet I did on this ride. Did I also mention that this cost me less than $10? $18 if you include the breakfast I had at Atlas Cafe. Not bad for a Saturday adventure. Not bad at all. Thanks for making it to the end. This was the first big video I've worked on, and I have no idea how it's going to land. And this lovely list of names are people who actually throw money at me to let me do stuff like this in these videos. You can join this illustrious list of supporters yourself by checking out my Patreon and Ko-Fi tip jar with the link in the description below. If you liked it and want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Soon after this is uploaded, I'll be moving to Berlin, Germany for a new job. I'm really looking forward to exploring Germany and the rest of Europe by bike, and I can't wait to share what I found with you. If that sounds fun to you, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. It really helps out the channel while giving the algorithm a strong nudge. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bruno, this is the new line tradition. Pittsburgh, Big Point.